for staying tuned to SDL TV Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, and I'm joined by Judy Real, who's the Executive Director of Home Services Incorporated. We've been talking about this great service. Uh, you're a nonprofit organization yes. in the city. You've been around for, what, 38 years? 37. Right? It'll be 38 next year. There you mm -hmm. go. See, I'm, a, I'm already planning <laughs> you're already for next year. Okay. <laughs> I'm counting down the years till I'm qualified. For, okay. <laughs> so you have to be 60 years old to call um, for help in your yes. home in a city resident and low to moderate income, which all of that information when somebody calls you, you'll explain that. We'll to them. explain that they have to be a St. Louis City homeowner. Mm -hmm. they, this isn't unfortunately for people who rent; it's just for people who own their own homes. Yeah, but the landlord, the people who rent, can call their generally. Yeah. Yes. So, um, so when you guys have been around for long enough that you probably have people that you've been helping all this time. We have a few clients that have been with us close to the beginning, and we've been around 37, almost 38 yeah. years. Uh, we started because the mayor's office at the time did a survey and one of the big issues with seniors was safety security mm. in their homes. So they started out installing locks and doors and it was senior home security. Over the next few years as they became their own agency, not part of the, the city, they decided that there was a wide array of services that they could do and seniors have always been very much victim to con artists with home repairs. Mm -hmm. So we became essentially like a general contractor for seniors who needed minor home repairs, not the major roofs and things, right. but the minor home repairs. The little and nuisances and annoyances. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Sort of the, a little bit above a handyman service, but mm -hmm. someone that they knew wasn't going to come and try and scam them out of their right. savings. So when somebody calls you, mm -hmm. um, as you were saying in the last segment, you mm -hmm. will talk to them about what their repair issue is. Right. And if you don't handle it, you'll refer them we to... We will refer them. Um, we can sometimes link them because we also uh, provide the construction management for the city's Healthy Home Repair Program. We have a way to connect them with that program, which is... Mm -hmm. uh, either a forgivable or a deferred loan program for the major repairs. Mm -hmm. And we work closely with the client. Sometimes they receive both of our services. We're more the ongoing type of service. Yeah. As you mentioned, the sink leaks. The door is it came off the hinges. We need grab bars. We do a lot of work. Um, we're fortunate that we partner with Washington University School of Medicine Occupational Therapy. Mm -hmm. And we can help with grab bars, we can help with other accessibility accommodations, rails, things right. of that nature. And like I said, when funding is available, we can also help people under 60 with a disability and help them do some accessibility modifications in right. their home. Right. So you're meeting lots of interesting residents. Do you have a favorite right. story or favorite resident? I have one. I have been, I am the second um, executive director. Our founding executive director, Mr. Vincenzo, um, passed away last year and I was fortunate enough to be able to come here and help serve the seniors and my maybe my second month there I was asked, talking to a lady on a Friday afternoon when I answered the phone mm -hmm. and she said that her toilet wasn't flushing and we got down to many different things did you try this did you try that and come to find out the handle had been loose and she super glued it oh <laughs> so it definitely <laughs> wasn't working anymore Unbelievably, one of our repairmen got out there and he managed to somehow get it detached right. and save the whole fixture. So there you go. that's one of my favorite well, you stories. We got to give her credit for trying. Yes, to she did. Herself. She but was good resourceful. Thing. And you guys jumped in. So all right. So you, you're a not-for-profit. You're you received mm -hmm. some grants and and city funds and right. that kind of thing. So and you also have an event coming up this Monday night. This Monday night, Monday the December fifteenth. It is a fundraiser. It's shopping for a cause at Plowsharing Crafts and from 6 to 9 p.m. you can come by meet me and some of the board and learn more about the program and also shop with a, basically a store that is it's sort of a double feel good they also do fair trade sustainable products micro enterprise products so you're not only helping the seniors because the proceeds will go for our minor home repair fund which means that if I have someone and their repair is over what our limit is, because we do have a limit, I can add some additional funds mm -hmm. and get that repair. For example, a furnace or an air conditioner mm -hmm. repair done. So it's a really fun so and, evening, and, and it's in the loop. Right. And you can come and shop all the stores, maybe have dinner, and come by and see us. 
Yeah, that sounds great. So Monday night, Monday um, night. but all year long, um, St. Louis Home Services at 771 5, See, 5, I got 000. it in my head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Meet Judy and she'll help you. It sounds like you'll help anybody. You can find more information on Home Service Incorporated at srhomeservices.com. And stay tuned to SDL TV Live. We'll be right back.